So we just got some brand new releases at our house, um, but they're brand new to Usborne as well. And I wanted to show you, I got a bunch, but um, these are the ones my kiddo was really excited about. One of which is for um, the baby that's on the way. But um, the alphabet of peculiar, peculiar creatures, that's always a hard word for me, you know. Um, so it's so awesome. It's got, of course, the alphabet and the animal. But then it's got facts about each of the peculiar animals. G is for Grimpo Toothus, and thank goodness it has the pronunciation. Um, this is just awesome. I am so excited to actually read this with Weston. Love the illustrations, they're comical. I kind of want them as art pieces for the wall. But anyway, so that's the alphabet of peculiar creatures. Then we've got this 365 things to draw and paint. I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, this was an old school book that they updated and brought back from the vault. Um, each page has, they have like directions, projects, different ideas of things you can draw, paint. Um, it's perfect for those creative kids that just need a little bit of that um, little boost of how to draw things. It simplifies things down. You can kind of, it's a good way to copy. Um, here's some awesome de decorations you can make. On the mountain is just like, we have one called In Through the Savannah or on this, Across the Savannah. And the pages are pop-up. And my kid is obsessed with this book. Um, it's factual though. Um, they've got facts up here and then they've got more of the simple facts up there. So um, for the younger kids, you could probably skip this part. But for the older kids, they're going to love it. And then for the little, little ones, um, we've got four new books that are, they're like a little book of, there's colors, there's sounds. Oh, there's numbers and I can't remember the other one. Um, but super adorable illustrations, big thick page or you know real thick pages, bright pictures, all the things the little ones love and of course small enough for their little hands. And then one of my favorite series of course is the Look Inside series and every time we get a brand new one of that I get so excited. This is one of our brand new ones. It's the Look Inside Science. Um, these are full of flaps. Flaps, 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 more flaps. Um, so this basically, the contents, I'll show you real quick. We'll talk about different things that are the main scientific themes that are good for, you know, three through seven years old to learn. There is a page about your body. Um, then you open it up and then there's actually another flap that you open to go um, down to the skeleton. There's a look inside your body, like a book dedicated to the body, but this is a good way to, you know, encapsulate all the different aspects of science that are important to teach the little, the younger scientists, budding scientists. But anyway, those are just a couple of my favorites that came. I can show you way more, but um, I'm really excited.